That is where we are today with Kenya Kwanza. It is about statistics, not the people. Kenyans deserve a government that understands that the people are hungry and angry, that people need jobs, that people need wage increases to be able to live with dignity, that people need better prospects for the future. Kenyans want and deserve to live well and eat well. They want good and well-paying jobs, and they want their salaries to be constantly adjusted above the inflation. I know no, no nation in, in history that has ever put up with such a huge tax burden as Kenyans are bearing today and survived. Kenyans now work for taxes. Tax now comprises close to half of the prices of goods our people buy. And I give an example. Today, if you pay 100 shillings for water, 70 shillings of that money is tax. Kenyans need justice on taxation front, and we're the only people to take up this battle. We must force and end an end to taxation policies that place heavier tax burden on the middle class and the extreme poor, while those to the administration easily avoid taxes and are reimbursed their proceeds through proceeds of crime. We must need Kenyans to demand social and economic justice predicated on access to jobs, a fair minimum wage, a free education for all, our children, in addition to abolition of punitive taxes. The country is crying for social programs that can lift the people from poverty. We cannot accept as normal that millions of our people have nothing to eat and that their poverty is being weaponized and politicized to give legitimacy to a rudderless and illegitimate regime. The time has come for the time has come for the full implementation of social and economic aspect of the Bill of Rights of our, in our Constitution, and we must lead that push. Kenyans deserve some guaranteed minimum income during these tough times. The social protection programs, which guarantee a basic monthly income must be reinstated and expanded. In our push for social and economic justice for the people of Kenya, we must also strongly oppose plans to sell off state-run parastatals and ensure these entities serve the public good rather than the lining the pockets of individuals in government. With regard to electoral justice, must return this country to the ideal that the government is beholden to the people, that it has no other source of power except the people. The people express their preferences through the ballot, and that the preferences made at the ballot must be respected. As I have said before, Kenya has become a laboratory for bad election practices that others borrow around the continent. An organized elite keen to protect narrow selfish interests has forged strategic alliances and captured strategic systems and institutions the sole purpose of subverting the substance of elections. As a result, the majority is at the mercy of the minority with regard to free, fair, transparent and credible elections. People wake up at dawn, stand in long queues to cast their ballots, but they end up with the results that indicate their votes were not counted and did not count. Economic and electoral justice must be seen to be intertwined. You must pursue them 
with the resolve, the courage, the sense of urgency, and the faith that they deserve, and we must do it 